Mark Silvestri's art landed him his dream job. You draw pictures, you don't have to leave the house, and somebody sends you a check. Susan Trianos is the life of the party at every wedding she attends. It's now time to have fun and enjoy the evening, dance, have a couple cocktails. <laughs> and Zab Hobart wants you to try on some new fonts. It's like a pair of jeans. You could just, there, there's so many uses for this typeface. We tried really hard in that art to have a balance of male artists and female artists because I think there is something inherently different about the art that women produce and the art that men produce. And I think when you look at the, what Mark Silvestri draws and then when you look at Susan Trianos makes, maybe it's stereotypical, I don't know, maybe it's a statement about culture, that's a decision that everyone has to make for themselves, but I do really think it's neat to see the artist and then the art and then compare and sometimes the the meshing is very obvious and sometimes it's a very odd juxtaposition a lot of artists talk about rebelling about you know fighting the system and that kind of thing mark silvestri is a comic book artist who actually really really did that mark silvestri and six other comic book artists stood up to dc and marvel and they said, no, we want to change the way business is done in the comic book industry. And when they formed Image Comics, it changed the entire comic book world. And he's a, he's a huge part of that. We set out to do a story with Susan Trianos and her cakes. And I thought it'd be a cute, fluffy, literally fluffy story. And then she started telling us about the competitive cake decorating world and the espionage that goes on and the fact that one of her cakes is actually stolen from one of the competitions in New York City one time. It's, it's a peek inside a world that I quite honestly didn't even know existed. For that's art to really be representative of art that you see every day but don't think of as art. I really felt that we had to include wallpaper. The wallpaper, you hang it on your wall, but it's not, no one calls it art, but someone has to create it, right? We went looking for a wallpaper artist, and the one I found was Zab Hobart, who makes wallpaper out of fonts, out of letters and numbers. And so now there's two questions. One is wallpaper art, and two is this collection of letters and numbers art. So it really, it's, it's one of the most puzzling and sort of head-scratching episodes that we have.